This is maple bacon ramen. Maple bacon ramen, mom. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. This is maple bacon ramen bomb. And this is the first time I've ever tested this recipe, but with a little bit of mate pack. <laughs> Just got a little syrup on it, it's all right. That'll go in the outtake reel. <laughs> all right, do you just want to hold it? Then? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> hey, Chef Corso, Outdoor Eats. I'm here in Austin, Texas, and man, I love that they keep a lot of these big old oak trees. They are just so awesome. But uh, this is trail fails, bloopers, outtakes, whatever you want to call it. But I think it's important to share this kind of stuff because Lord knows I am not perfect. And sometimes it takes me multiple takes. Sometimes it takes me multiple takes. Yeah, that makes sense to uh, get it right for you. But uh, enjoy the trail fails. Checking, checking. Corso doing stuff. Yep. <laughs> Got a big syrup all over me. That's great. But I've got a. But I've got a. a, a <laughs> Damn. Yeah. But I've got about nine, maybe a few more recipes. No, I don't like that. but I've got about nine different recipes here for you that will really jazz up your mashed potato bowl. And stay tuned until the end because I've got a whole other ingredient that you probably don't even know exists that is another really great potato ingredient to pack along. This is a maple bacon ramen bomb. Well, if you... This is a maple bacon ramen bomb. I've never tried this recipe, but I've been curious to see if Bacon. All right, we're rolling. We're rolling. Come on. I know. Oh. <laughs> this is strawberry shortcake. And yeah, those are Twinkies. And this recipe only weighs four ounces. Oh, your, your hat is at the very bottom of the shot. <laughs> Let's, let me try that again. Do you take instant mashed potatoes and tuna packets out on your hikes? Yeah, we are just about everybody's. Do you take, do you take instant mashed potatoes and tuna packets out on your hikes? Weird, yeah, just about everybody does. Hey. These are trail tacos. These are trail tacos. Yeah, people have been having fun eating tacos in the street. We should be having fun eating tacos in the trail. I want some tasty trail tacos today. But come along as we cook up. Hey, oh. hey, oh. Chef Corso, Monty Boca, I'm here to put you on the path to amazing meals on your outdoor treks. And we are slapping the rock here in the desert. And I am here to... And the last two instant mashed potatoes rest and the last two instant mashed potato recipes that I'm gonna give you today, they use instant mashed potato. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, thanks for coming along for some quick tips on how to pack up some fresh veggies. But if you wanna stay tuned.
whenever you want to go. I want you to th <laughs> Nature knows this with the cows yes too. Hey yo, Chef Corso, Monty Boca. I'm here to put you on the path to amazing meals on your outdoor treks. And we're here to share fast, easy, and tasty recipes for What can you make with pasta that isn't just pasta with bread? in the last few shapes for you to consider. And these are a little bit sneaky because they may not think. This is a grocery store. This is a grocery store in Texas. This is a grocery store. This is a grocery store. Rolling. Hey yo, Chef Corso, we are here in the desert and we are making trail sushi. Yeah, trail sushi. I know I'm crazy Chef Corso, but I have got four great trail sushi recipes out there. But I four, I've got four great trail sushi recipes for you. They're super easy to pack. while we're using Mac and while we're using Mac you can also make all right we are rolling so like the left frame is right at the end of that log. Gotcha. We got all the way over here. Oh, so. cool. <laughs> all right, well, we are here at camp and we just finished filming, didn't film the podcast. <laughs> well, kind of did, sort of. <laughs> all right, well, we are here at camp and we just filmed Hey, well, and roll it. Hey, Chef Corso, I'm here to put you on the path to amazing meals on your outdoor treks, and I found another rock to cook on, and that gets me really excited. But we are here in the middle of Wyoming. All right, can you get a nice tight, keep, keep rolling? Okay. Just come in and get a nice tight shot of me eating. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, oh. <laughs> I, I like how you kind of do an ostrich thing when you're trying to figure out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't, guys, I don't want to start like. Yeah. Hey, oh, Chef Corso, I'm here to put the path on. Hey, oh, Chef Corso, I'm here to put you on the path to amazing meals on your outdoor treks. But you know what? I know that a lot of your treks out there are not always 20 miles deep into the vista. Audio test. Testing, testing. Here in Big Bend National Park. 
want you to talk to. Okay. Not this game, I'm talking to. Okay. Um. Ready? Yeah. Uh, turn the bag the other way. There you go. Oh, so it's Texas clear. Texas tough. these in there, rip these up into smaller pieces, and then crumble the mounds. Okay. Wait, wait, say that again, sorry. Throw these in there, rip these into small pieces, crumble this up. Yep. Okay. I'll rip these up, you can handle that, yeah. This one we're just opening it and parting it in, right? Correct. Okay, you're, you're perfectly in frame right there. Cool. That's great. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so Tiana, you can do the harvest snaps. These? Yep. And you said we're going to mash them, though? Yeah, just put them in the bowl. They're going to get mushed up in here. Okay. I mean, what are we going to mush them up with, though? Uh, just some other spoon. Okay, so yeah, so yep, we yep. are going to use After them. I'm yeah. done scooping out the avocado. Yeah, for sure. Okay. okay. So this goes in, yep. and they're just in there, and then this one's next? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're all going to get mashed up together. That just needs to get slid open. So yeah, we'll have to cut it open. Yeah, slicing stuff open, though. I know, I know. That's yeah. why I was looking. Um, okay, so let's do a set. Got a runner. Okay, so set. All right, ready? Yep. Nice. So uh, let's do that again. And Without the fork. Uh, no, no, no. It's beautiful. You're too far this way. Wait, like, wait. Uh, towards me. I guess I'm more Sorry. like here. Yeah, like right here. Let me get it. Wait. So is this spot? Uh, that's the spot. Okay. Yep. Got it. Listen, this is one thing that a lot of you guys are doing. Listen, listen, there's one thing that a lot of you guys are doing out there for your bike. Listen, there's one thing a lot of you guys are doing on your hiking, camping, and backpacking trips that you need to stop. Why? Because for most of you guys, it doesn't matter. You're not, not gonna have a good time. You know, if you pizza when you should have french fried, if you french fried when you should have pizza, you're gonna have a bad time. So while this is uh, behind the scenes, in Wyoming, middle of Wyoming, uh, what, what what town are we in? Lander. Lander, right in the middle. And we have some new friends here, a nice local herd of sheep and their sheep dogs. You can't make this stuff up, but you gotta get outside to do it. You can't make this stuff up, but you gotta get outside to see it.